The transforming power of gratitude. That's what Pastor Bob Richardson talked about here this last week. He shared several points that will help us cultivate an attitude of gratitude and apply its transforming power to our lives. Let's hear what he had to say. But we need to develop a habit of being thankful. So what are some things we can do? Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your many blessings. See what God has done. Count your blessings. One person suggested keep a journal of blessing. Sometimes it's hard when you're really hurting to count your blessings, but you can open up your journal and go back and read what God has done and give him thanks. Here's one. Write a thank you note. I am terrible at thank you notes. My wife is wonderful. We, our daughter's... They write thank you notes all the time. I, first of all, I hate writing. And, but secondly, I'm, I'm convicted by this <laughs> sermon. <laughs> I'm glad you got to listen in, but I'm preaching to me. But write a thank you note. Remember that research I said that they found that those who just wrote a thank you note, that even months later, they were happier than people who hadn't participated in that exercise. Here's another one. Tell five people thank you every day. Tell five. It's not that hard to find five people you can say thank you to every day. Sing a worship song of praise. Share a testimony. Psalm 9-1 says, I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. Tell somebody else some things you're thankful for. You may not be thanking them, but you can tell them what you're thanking God for. Wasn't that great? That was Pastor Bob Richardson, The Transforming Power of Gratitude. This is Pastor Gary for A Moment in the Word. Mm -hmm.